Show me, don't tell me. If a character is experiencing strong emotions, use your writing to show me those emotions. Let me visualize it as the reader. Don't explicitly write it down on the page. You can do it with much greater effect if you show me, don't tell me. I'll show you again from The Spirit of Burundi by Leonie Norrington. This is an intense moment where a father finds out that his young son is actually still alive. Dad takes the Jess, stretches it out between his hands. Sean made this. Perfect workmanship. His eyes go cloudy and tears constrict his throat. He blinks a couple of times. And what do you think your mother's thinking, Dale, you bloody selfish little bugger? She's lost one son already. He's not lost. He's not dead. He can't be dead, Dad. The Jess was... Dad turns the Jess over and looks at the other side. Shut up, Dale, he says quietly. His tone changed, softer. He holds the Jess up to the light. There's something on it. Letters scratched into it with a rock or something. Mum, I'm safe. Sean. Dad's mouth opens, and there really are tears in his eyes. Dale can see his Adam's apple bounce up and down as he swallows. It doesn't say that the father is emotional, but you can tell from the writing that he is. The Adam's apple bobbing up and down, but before that even, his eyes go cloudy and tears constrict his throat. It's a really good image to show that this man is on an emotional knife edge.